Hey, what's going on everybody? Jay Guise here, and today we're gonna check out Cabal in the spins variation. So one of the things that he gets in this variation is this hook. So this allows for combo extension, allows for greater damage. It's a good side switching tool. And he also has this cloud. So the cloud, you can actually meter burn it and it'll give you health while it actually will take away the health of your opponent. We weren't able to see that there, but. So you can see this cloud, right? It's taking away their health while adding your health at the same time. You could also use it as a get off me pressure tool. Look at the distance it creates. Um, it's a very, you know, great tool. Uh, has a lot of utility. So it has the ability to give you health, take away your opponent's health, push back on block to reset neutral. And one of the best things about it is the fact that it actually restands as well. So if we're going to take this person off block, just to show you, notice now they're standing up and we're plus three. If we meter burn it, we're gonna be plus nine. All right, so this is a tool that has such utility. It's one of the better moves I feel in the game. It really enhances Cabal and gives him the opportunity for great corner pressure, the ability to stagger, reset neutral, give himself health to regenerate, um, puts damage over time on the screen. It's just a great tool to have. And this variation I feel is his strongest variation personally. I think that the other variations do also have utility. I think that in certain matchups, you know, different variations are going to be better, but I think overall this is his best variation. He still has the uh, projectile, so the blades, he's throwing those. And notice that the startup is rather slow. It's a 24 frame startup. Uh, but the good thing about it is that it knocks down. And the knockdown is rather long. So on a trade, oftentimes you can cut down space. Or if you hit somebody on their startup, you're able to cut down space. So it's very difficult to zone Cabal out. He also has the air set. So once you get into this range and someone throws a projectile, you can punish them uh, from rather far out. And that's a great tool as well you can also cancel it on whiff which is pretty interesting so you could oftentimes beat buttons that way you know somebody thinks that you're you're gonna miss oh he missed psych we're throwing that down so when someone comes in to whiff punish your jump in you're able to use the blade and you're able to uh, get some good things off of it you could also use meter to make sure that you're going to stay safe uh, in case it is close and they do block you can use meter drop down quickly and you're good to go. You can also meter burn the uh, saw from, you know, full screen, just a regular saw. And on a trade, it will crushing blow on a counter. And you can go right into your Nomad Dash, which is the last move we're going to talk about here. And you can go right into that and get a combo from full screen. So Cabal, he does a really good job of putting the opponent where he wants them. If you're playing against someone that's zoning, you get a knockdown, you dash in, you know, you're, you're cutting down the screen rather quickly, punishing them from far out. If I'm playing someone that I want to zone out, right, so I can on block, you know, utilize the uh, pushback on this to get them away, and then I can just continue to go back and zone. Uh, he's, he's pretty good as far as his uh, versatility in matchups, and I think that's why he's such a great character. Where does he fall as far as weaknesses go well his dash speed is really slow so he doesn't have great movement uh, he has you know pretty slow movement compared to the rest of the class the rest of the cast uh, but you know if he had crazy movement i think that he would be a little bit over the top so some of his uh, better strings forward two two forward two two four does have a crushing blow on it if it does counter or punish you also have the back one uh, which is really good mid, so you go back one two, down two, which also does crush into a launch, and we'll get to the combos in a little bit. His one one is a really good stagger into grab, one 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 launches, and again, his uh, hook is utilized whenever you go into a launch. So we're going to take a look at the string two three, and you can go right into hook every time. And that's just a very simple, easy combo, we're getting 30% off of it. This move, the down back four, it allows for armor breaking and it does crushing blow off of the armor break. 
One of the best ways to utilize the crushing blow on this that I found is baiting my opponent into waking up. So the back one can punish wake up rather well. But if I see, if I'm moving in and out on a knockdown and I see that my opponent wakes up, I punish them with this. And that's going to launch into a full combo. I'll show you exactly what I mean here. So we're going to uh, put the opponent on get up and we're going to put it on, I don't know, what are we going to put it on? Uh, swarm burst. All right, so we're going to knock down. Right, and then we can meter burn it, and it is going to launch. And we're able to get a full combo here. And with one bar, uh, we're, you know, or with two bars, we're getting 40%. With one bar, it's like 38% if we don't meter burn uh, this portion. So he gets crazy damage off of counters with that. You could also bait people into that on block. So if I were to put this person on block here or the computer from this range and go into things like this, it's risky. It is risky, but you can bait a counter poke at times, especially when you're out of range and they try to down one or use a tool that's not going to reach you. And you can bait counter poke punishes with that. Again, risky, but you'll see a lot of Cabal players, they, they do utilize that. And it does... Uh, break armor as well so you can at times cut your combo short without negating a ton of damage and instead of using this you can just go into this so if they try to break away at any time and you suspect it so let's say you're doing a combo that looks like this and normally you go here like that all right so we're going to use that combo that's our we'll say our normal combo that we're going to use if they're going to break away quick so i think they're going to break away quick i'm going to show you exactly what this looks like so you get an idea so they're on fast breakaway so we're going to go into combo all right and then we're able to crushing blow them off of that and break the armor so instead of going into this i'm going into this now if they don't break away or if yeah we'll say if they don't break away right we're not negating that much damage by doing this i'm not going to use the crushing blow but it's still 25 percent damage and you can even meter burn that and still not use the crushing blow for close to 30 percent so the risk for breaking away against a good cabal that understands uh you know meter management and is focused on your meter is very risky because it poses the threat of getting hit with the crushing blow and it also isn't that advantageous to break away anyway because if you do break away and he still hits you and doesn't have the crushing blow, he's still getting like 30%. So a, a very good cabal is going to be mindful of your meter and it's gonna be a big risk for you to try to break away against it. So we're gonna take a look at the 2-2 and it's a high mid, comes out rather quickly. It's only minus one, but also look at the pushback. So it puts me in a, a perfect situation to back one or just back up a little bit and with punish buttons. So if they're putting something out there, so it would look like this, back up, bang, and then whatever they would stick out there, my back one is going to be in range, while typically they won't be. Uh, again, it's going to be matchup dependent if someone has some forward advancing mids uh, or highs that are going to beat me out. Obviously, you don't want to do that, but against most of the cast, this is a very viable strategy. Also, notice the block stun is very short. Uh, it's minus one, and the block stun is short, so oftentimes you're able to catch your opponent slipping, and you're able to steal a turn here. One of the other things that I want to talk about is the Fatal Blow. His Fatal Blow is one of the best in the game. It is a Fatal Blow that basically renders the uh, neutral rather, um, we'll say, non-existent. Your opponent has to always be aware that you can just at any time do that. And if they throw a projectile, if they jump, if they whiff something that has a lot of frames of recovery, any Cabal that's worth his salt is just going to see that and they're going to punish uh, with the fatal blow it almost is advantageous for you to not use the fatal blow to the ends and make them respect it the entire time you have it and unless you're going to steal a round or win that round uh, in particular i feel like holding the fatal blow as long as possible is the most advantageous thing because it's so polarizing it changes the neutral changes your opponent's options um it, it just completely changes the matchup and it's one of the fatal blows uh, you know, in a small handful of them in this game that do that. 
So using that to your advantage is going to be key. So a couple other things to just talk about with Cabal. His down one's pretty good. Seven frames of startup. His down three is nine frames of startup. Notice that he kind of like leans back. So his down three oftentimes will whiff. His down four is excellent. I love his down four. It's 11 frames of startup, low. It has good range. Uh, it's very plus on hit. It's plus 18. You're able to go in and get pressure off of that. Also notice on hit, it's 11 frames for his down one. So it does jail. Uh, into his stand one because if it's plus 11 and I'm going to use a seven frame high it will jail if you're having issues jailing saying you're you know you're playing against somebody that's mashing a lot and you're in like a wonky connection and you're playing in an online tournament and it's like bro like it doesn't matter I still need to be able to connect things here uh, because I'm in this tournament and it's you know life or death the connection's not great I know we're playing a lot online the forward two two also is a great way to uh, get some things going, uh, notice that it's 12 frames of startup. This is only plus 11, so you're like, well, that doesn't make sense. Well, how could I jail off of that if it's not as plus? Well, they're not going to be able to get their down one out in time uh, because there's only a one frame difference. Remember, this is a mid. So even though the frames don't necessarily look as though it will jail, it actually doesn't jail, they're not going to be able to poke out with a down poke. You're going to hit them before their six or seven frame down poke comes out. So they're not able to mash in that situation. You also have a really good tool in the forward four, and the forward four uh, does link into the one plus three, and that, is, that part is an overhead. And you're able to move them far uh, across the screen. When you are ending combos, you typically, if you want to uh, stay on the side that you're on, you would end with this. If you don't want to stay on the side you're on, you'll end with this. Meter burn it or not meter burn it, that'll side switch. Or this will also side switch as well. It depends on the range at which you're going to hit them and the gravity on that combo. You're going to have to practice them to fully understand those. His jump two is really good. It has a good range. Notice that up close when I do that, sometimes it'll whiff. Uh, it works best from about this range. And then you can firm into it. His jump kick's really good. You can go into the Nomad Dash. And notice, even if they break away, I'm in a good spot. Right? So they just broke away. I just, you know, go full screen. And I'm really not going to get punished in that situation. Uh, the last move that we're going to talk about is this right here. It's really good for chipping people out. So if I were to do something on block like this. So we're going to go block. Right, it's a lot of hits. It's negative. All right, if it's not going to kill somebody, I'm going to die. Uh, but it's not something that I typically use in combo. I typically stay away from that. Uh, I can launch on meter burn, so if I meter burn it, it does launch them. Um, but it's in, in my, you know, in my experience, I noticed that using this oftentimes off the launch is much better uh, than this launch. So the scaling also isn't as good because it hits them more times off the launch rather than just, you know, the one uh, strike and slam down. So the scaling is worse. Um, the only thing that I really use that for is to chip people out. So as far as anti-airs go, his stand one is actually pretty good for this. And you can convert off of this. It's not something that you, uh, you know, can't convert off of. We get about 32%. His back one from range also works really well, and you can still crushing blow off of it and get a combo, even off of the air. So that aspect of it is really good. I really enjoy it because of that, and we're getting 36% there. All right, so we're going to get into some combos here. If you have any questions, uh, be sure to leave them down in the comments section. Uh, I like Cabal. I think he's very strong. He's not a character that you're just going to be able to pick up and like dominate people with Cabal. He has really great tools for really good players. So he's like the type of character that because his tools are so good fundamentally, a very good fundamental player can excel with Cabal. He's not a character you're just going to pick up and dominate people online with by doing uh, you know, things that are overly effective. He has very good effective tools, but only in the right hand. So that's the way that I view him. You may view him differently, uh, but that's kind of the way that I see Cabal. So without further ado, let's get into the combo.
slow. So there you go, a little Cabal tutorial, some breakdowns of his strategies and combos. If you like what you see, be sure to click that subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell so you get updated whenever I post new content. As always, I want to thank you for checking in. It's Jay Glee signing out and continue to game strong.